as we detune and retune for what I would consider the Nova's biggest success. Chevy Nova, 1967. Fast car in a straight line. Great for dragging. You know, if you wanted to go and do a drag race, I'd say pull out a Nova and drag race that against almost every car out here. Very, very fast car. Capable. Now, I had put up a clip about the Nova. Now, what I made it to be was fast, and that was it, hands down. 4,338 miles of tuning on this car. That's how many miles are on, that, on my Nova. But I threw this clip up. Go back in my old videos and take a look at it, talking about, you know, I was just clowning around and I was talking about how this is the best line for the Nova. Or the best line on this track for the Nova. If you want to take lines, this is the best line for the Nova. Now, obviously I know that it's not, you know, some guys will bitch me out right here and say that, you know, you shouldn't be drifting around every corner. You lose a lot of time. I put up 1 minute and 38 seconds with this car on this clip. That's fast. I don't care. If I'm drifting around, that's fast. A minute 38 with a Nova that you're drifting every corner, it's real fast. It's extremely fast. That's faster than any GR3 car, faster than any GR4 car. Hands down. For this track. So right now, it's got all them beat. But, somebody had commented about my Nova and said that they're not going to fuck with my Nova. They don't even want to fuck with this car. I don't understand why. I could understand why when I put this clip up that nobody want to fuck with it because it just looks like a drifting car. But I don't really think that's the case. I think that I've put a lot of time and effort in making that Nova fast I bet you I can make it handle too. I know I can make it handle. That's what I do. I got like, what, 300 cars? They all handle. This car ain't gonna be no exception. So, we went back and we tuned the hell out of the Nova. Conclusions? fast I figured we'll give it the biggest challenge that any car in this game can possibly have and we'll throw the hardest track at it we'll throw the track that has nothing but all the potholes and everything else and we'll see we'll see if the Nova can handle that track because if the Nova can handle that track run a clean lap not drifting all around. I mean a clean lap. Handle the corners. Put down the power. Not sliding all over the place. Like a clean lap. What would its time be? And can it be possible? I mean, is it really that possible to go ahead and have the Nova do this? I mean, it looks like that that's what's happening. Nova is putting down a clean lap. 70 miles through that turn. 90. Busting at 110. 140. 160. 170 before you even hit the brakes. And yeah, I'll say that, you know, it takes longer to brake with the Nova. And that usually has a little bit to do with the Nova... Nova's usually going a lot faster than what you are, so yeah, the Nova's going to take longer to break just because of how fast it's going and that it can't break. <clears throat> I mean, it really can't. It, it takes longer to break at the same speed than most cars out here today. It's from 67, where disc brakes were a thing. But, or I should say drum brakes were a thing. But, you know, 
seems to be handling this track extremely well. Matter of fact, it's putting up a faster time than the GT40 right now. It's putting up a faster time than the F1 with 600 horses. It's putting up a faster time than the GT40 with 600 horses. That's impressive. I'm, I'm not talking the old school one either. I'm talking that brand new GT40 that we raced what a month ago on this track this is fast and there's a lot of curves for this car man a lot of turns and it's not doesn't look to be like it's unstable this is a very stable platform now it's pretty amazing I mean just gripping the hell out of the corner coming out of the corner 120 130 a little over 140 before you lock them up. Hitting the corner at 70. Busting 90 right there before obviously you got to go up the hill. Pushing through the hill like it isn't nothing coming out of, off the top of the hill at 120. And if you watch the gas pedal, man, I'm taking my time with this car. Because you can easily overdrive it. It's still way too fast. But... It's a Nova, man. It's cool as hell. So it needs to be, right? I think the platform that I've built here, for all the shit talkers that don't like the Nova, I think this car can compete with anything that's out there. Now, there's some exceptions to that, obviously. You know, I'm not going to challenge a car that's got a thousand horses, so don't even compare it, especially if it has nothing but downforce and everything else. But. For the newer cars that are out here, or any GT3 for that matter, or GT4, it'll smoke it. I guarantee it'll smoke it. This is way faster than a GT3 car. Matter of fact, in its state, when I drove Dragon Trail, it was faster than any GT3 car. So, now that it can, put, can perform along with this, yeah, dude, there's, I mean, it'll smoke anything. And, I mean, I'm, I would challenge anybody to build this car. I'd like to see if anybody can. I mean, I got, you know, almost, what, 4,338 miles on this car. So, yeah, I mean, if you think you can build this car, I'd like to see what your ideas are. I definitely have already put up what my platform was prior to this. Um, I will say that all of... Um, the specs that are on this car while building it are totally incorrect so if it tells you that you know it's it's got more top end or more acceleration or whatever it's lying to you better cornering it's lying to you Th this car doesn't go by that at all never has I don't know if that's a glitch in the game or what but the stats and performance stats that are on this car they don't match up to what this car can do I know I've dragged myself uh, I've captured clips and I've set up drag races with myself. I know that sounds stupid, right? But just to see what um, what cars are fast, you know, what platforms are faster for this car, what makes a difference in this car, and what doesn't. Another thing that really doesn't matter in this car is um, Super Sport tires. Uh, you could put regular or Super Soft tires. You could put regular. Um, racing soft tires on this car and you get the exact same performance the exact there's no difference there may be a little bit I haven't found it um, you know I'd have to go ahead and test that out again but I haven't seen any difference between that and it, it's mainly because this car really isn't made to handle corners this car was never designed for it in this game never in real life either I mean it just doesn't handle corners not very well so getting this car to handle corners you got to be very careful with how fast you are still going around that corner even though I've got a platform that I can handle I can go fast around a corner doesn't really mean that I'm handling a corner it just means that it's going fast around the corner it's not really it, it, I don't know how to explain that so I just want to point out though that this right here is in 
since that I've tested car has been the fastest, the fastest car that I've had on this track. Um, period, hands down. Um, I'm not going to put a car faster than this unless it has a lot of grip on this track. So. Alright, there it is, man. The Nova. Peace.